Welcome to our Saturday workshop. Uh, my name is Charles Sinez, CEO of Antifragility Health. Thank you for joining. Um, so this week, uh, Dr. Johnson and I have been talking about different things. Um, but today, I'm going to continue uh, the thesis that I started laying out last week with regard to what I call to live a long and healthy life requires a journey of transformation and enrollment of the self and also of the other people that you recruit into yourself. So the, the, it is a very important aspect of living a long and healthy life that you engage in this journey of transforming your understanding about your health and enrolling yourself into that journey and also the people that are important uh, close to you who are necessary for that journey. In that context, we're going to talk about four big ideas that are very critical for your understanding. Uh, therefore, would drive your action to ensure that you get access, which is action gives you access to all the things that you want. So we're going to start here with the concept of freedom. Freedom is at the core, is the core objective that drives fulfillment. To be fulfilled in life, you need to be free. And freedom is driven by five key things. Health is number one, knowledge, relationships, time, and money. The expansion and contraction of these things gives us a sense of security or insecurity. So when our health reduces, or our money reduces, or we are always short of time, or we don't have productive relationships, and we don't have knowledge, our freedom box shrinks. Not all at the same time, but different. When those things increase, our freedom increases. And what, why am I putting freedom at the core of fulfillment? Because freedom gives you the opportunity to take and execute your possibilities. Your possibilities are available for you to uh, implement and take action on when you have freedom. Freedom gives you choice. Freedom is at the core as we look at this next step. In the pursuit of life, we look at number two, to move from dependence. Dependence means you're less free. To interdependence, where we are all free and we all share and contribute to that freedom. So freedom as its core is what drives this journey from dependence, and let's explore that journey from a health perspective. What is a dependent health? It's one where you depend on your doctor or other experts to tell you whether you're healthy or not. Independence means that you know and you're in control of your health. Interdependence means that you know and you're in the control of your health and the health of your community, your family, your friends, and that all of you are free and are on that journey to interdependence. If not, you cannot, take journey. you cannot get on that journey. Why? Because the reason why most people cannot get on a journey of health to interdependence is because they are constrained by these things. You're constrained by, I'm not healthy, I don't have the money, I don't have the time, I don't know people I can trust, I don't have the knowledge. Those are the constraints. And why, are they cons why do we call them constraints? Because they constrain your freedom, your freedom to choose and do the things that you would like to that fulfills you. And so this journey is a critical journey for all of those things. From dependent, whether it's money, we move from dependence to independent to interdependent. Whether it's knowledge, whether it's relationships, 
whether it's time and whether it is health. Some of us in life get stuck here. And no wonder our lives are sad and unfulfilled. Very challenging issue. And it's at the core of health. So I can go on talking about nutrients and exercise and all of that, but we need to go to the core mindset beliefs that drives the underlying transformation that's required for you to be healthy and to be fulfilled about the state and quality of your health. So let's look at the third paradigm. It's a, it's a paradigm of maturity, which means that there are fundamental steps that are required that would actually allow you to achieve that journey. And we call it what we call a capability maturity model drives the personal and community journey. And how have we structured that? First of all, we have two foundation levels of maturity, foundation one and foundation two. In foundation one, we need to understand the game. In foundation two, we need to understand the rules. In mastery one, we need to begin to change and adapt and personalize those, the game and the rules for ourselves. And in mastery two, we are optimizing the game and the rules. What, are the game, what is the game and the rules? One is the game of prevention. What is the game of prevention? It is around the four things that we teach. Physical well-being, nutritional well-being, emotional well-being, and environmental well-being. So you need to understand the game and the rules. Reversal. If you already have any of the 10 clinical imbalances that we talk about, then you need to understand for each of them, whether it's cardiometabolic, whether it's gastrointestinal, what is the game? What's the literature out there? What are the rules? What works, what doesn't work? And then as you move into mastery and into mastery, you begin to customize and optimize those rules for yourself because each of our biology is different. And when it comes to optimization, right, you wanna learn how to do that also and that would then begin to support how you actually get on that journey. So these three ideas are really critical in terms of mindset and tools that then support you to get to where you want to go. That's why you all need a guide. You need a guide to take you on this journey to health. And the final area is the area of enrollment. So if you don't get on the journey yourself, you cannot enroll other people into that journey. So I'm going to stop today. It's very short in saying that this is really the critical things that we want to do to make sure that we understand the journey and what the journey requires. It's not a trivial journey. It is the most challenging journey of our lives. It is the defining journey of our lives. And it is really critical and important that we take that journey and pursue that journey appropriately. Thank you for joining us again today, and I'll talk to you again during next week on Conversations with Dr. Johnson and on Saturday when I give my short talk, which typically is a summary of the week, uh, but today I wanted to ensure that we continue this blueprint conversation so you understand that when we go into the details, we always need to come back for air to actually understand these concepts. Thank you for joining and uh, stay blessed. I love you. Stay protected from COVID and uh, join us next week. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye now.